I had a guy buy some four foot tall nets off from me. Then he asked me if I could build small nets, even smaller than that. I said, well, yeah, what are you looking for? Something really small that I can get in small place with. Okay. Well, I happen to have this one here. Got little tiny rings in it. <clears throat> little tiny tail bag. It only stands up about two feet tall. It's got little short wings on it. Little dinky things. You can see how small it is. So I uh, took a video and showed him this video. He's like, yeah, I want four of those. Jeez, dude, where are you fishing? You know, a mud puddle? So, this net here is not actually a fishing net. There's no excluder panel. There's no funnel and tube in there to, to trap them. So they would just swim up in there and then swim back out. Um, the reason I built this net a few years ago was uh, during spring school vacation and she's doing it again this year my mom set up a indoor mini golf course for the kids to do in a big building we have in town so I set up an overfishing course so I stood this little net up and I put a piece of PVC pipe in the end of it here so as part of the golf hole that I built you had to beat your golf ball around the course, and then you had to shoot it through the net and through the wings, trapezoid, and it rolled down the tail bag and out the pipe, and you could keep going with it. So it was just kind of a fun thing that I built. I never thought somebody would actually want one, and this dude wants four <laughs> up in uh, Nova Scotia. So I'm underway building four of them. This is a trapezoid. It's only about two feet to haul. Two feet long, so it's going to be two feet, two feet across the top bottom, and then you stand it up about two feet on the wings. It's a little over two feet deep, down to where the tail bag is going to attach. So, this should be a fun project. Well, I'm picking away at getting these little nets built for this dude up in Nova Scotia. Got the trapezoid built. <coughs> Made up uh, some little tail bags and tiny little funnels inside of there. This is how big the tail bag is in diameter. It is dinky. These are lobster head rings going lobster traps. So that's why I'm going to fish through these loops and um, opens the bag up. There's the metal hoop in there. Another one keeps the bag open. Tube has a ring in it, just like the bigger nets. Little tiny tail bag. So now I just need to throw some wings on it, put a chain in it for the guy, make a tiny little scooter panel, and it's done. And three more of them. Well, here's one of those microscopic nets. All done. It's only two feet tall. You want the floats on it, the chain. They, I usually sew the chain into the bottom by rolling the material over on it, but just to save some height there. And there's going to be no current per se pushing on these nets. I just clipped it on. There it is. Little dinky thing. There's tail bag. You can see the end of the funnel in there. Lobster trap hoop heads. Pulling that open. So, the guy who's buying these, he, uh, he's picked up three order, two orders from me already, and this is the third. 
his buddies up in Canada are going nuts over the four foot and two foot nets. So I guess they fish a little mud puddles up there or something. But that's all right, whatever floats their boat. So uh, maybe down a couple days and pick up eight of these.